Okay, the objective for today, Sam's arm, that we're looking to profile all of the, the quick bowlers through all the age groups. Um, so we've got the 12s all the way through to the academy lads coming in today um, in four different groups. So we've got a foundation group, two intermediate groups and an elite group. And the, the objective of it is that we gather some information on these lads um, based around their own actions, their own individual actions. So we've, we've got the setup that you see behind us here set up with the, the iPad and the speed gun all linked in together. Um, so we take two angles from rear and from the open side and we're just looking at things in their action. So we're looking at speed indicators, uh, what their speeds are. We're looking at action indicators to see whether the action is first and foremost safe. So whether we can make any slight adjustments which will make that safer. And then looking at options for trying to develop their actions to assist their bowling. Uh, by gaining that information from sort of grassroots up, it allows us to, to track that through. So as these lads develop through all the age groups into academy and then beyond, we've got some baseline information. A skills, uh, a, a skills profiling day going on. Um, all the best wicket keepers, spinners and fast bowlers from the various age group sides come together. And the thinking behind it is that they get an opportunity to get some footage on camera that we can refer to. And, and that will then form the basis of all of their development plans going forward for this coming winter period. Um, it's an exciting day for them, great to have so many staff uh, and such fabulous facilities to be able to, uh, to put, up, put this day on. Um, helps massively from uh, a, a development point of view that we can get uh, some real quality footage uh, off run-ups going into the winter and just gives lads a bit of an opportunity to make some assessments about their game um, going forward to work on. So we'll start next season, we're, we're fit, strong, raring to go. Uh, and, and hopefully as best version of each player as possibly can be. Just looking at stock ball and variation areas we can improve, just set some fundamentals, some basics, um, just how to move forward where they are now and then hopefully where we can get them after the, the programme up to Christmas and then looking after that for the, for the second block up to the start of next season. Alongside that we've got the strength and conditioners picking up some work during the week as well so they'll, they'll find some um, sort of measures that they want to see um, from, from their bodies and from their speed, from the height, from their weight, which all linked in with the bowling information gives us a really good foundation to be able to develop these lads through into hopefully professional cricketers of the future. Um, being able to do it here at Durham School is brilliant. They've allowed us the facility this year to, to come and do this late on in the year, which is fantastic. Big thanks to them for doing that. And um, hopefully this is something that we, we can repeat again in March or April, uh, which this year we couldn't because of COVID. But what it does, it gives us a really good record to take forward for the future.